students welcome to my video i would like to uh, introduce the new chapter statistics chapter number 14 already you learned the uh, chapter statistics in the early classes 7th 8th 9th no more explanation about the statistics okay we have data data means what it is a simply you can say it is a collection of information so data can be divided into two types one is continuous data and the second one is discontinuous data you can see continuous data here we have an example 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 see this is the first class interval and this is also class interval and this is called lower limit and this is called upper limit this is lower limit this is upper limit and the width of this class interval is 10 and here also 10 okay so continuous means here the uh, second uh, upper limit of the first interval and the first uh, that means lower limit of the second interval is same that means there is no gap between first two interval so this type of data is called continuous data see next one is discontinuous data here another example 10 to 19 20 to 29 30 to 39 see here we have a gap between 19 and 20 the first interval 10 to 19 and the second interval 20 to 29 this is the upper limit here 19 and lower limit 20 here we have a gap between 19 and 20 that is 1 so this type of data is called discontinuous data then two more uh, discontinuous data one is less than data and the second one is more than data here sometimes the data is given by below 5 below 10 below 15 etc this time this model and more than type means above 200 above 150 above 100 this type uh, the question will be given so this uh, two type also known as discontinuous data so first we have to discuss conversion of discontinuous data into continuous so we can take this discontinuous data Okay, first we have to take the difference between 19 and 20, that is 1, and take uh, divided by 2, that is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is equal to what? 0.5. So, reduce 0 0.5 in the lower limit in the first, uh, first interval, that is the first number is 10. So, 10 minus 0 0.5 is 9.5. And also increase 0 0.5, the same number 0 0.5 in upper limit of the first interval. That is 19, the upper limit 19 added to 0 0.5. So you will get 19.5. Same way 20 minus 0 0.5, 19.5, 29, 29 plus 0.5 is equal to 29.5, etc. As pro, uh, continue this way you will get 29.5 39.5 etc so this data becomes continuous okay in this chapter we have to discuss more about average what are the averages mean median and mode these are the three averages so we have to uh, first we have to learn mean we have three dif uh, different methods to find the mean of the data first method is known as direct method Second one assumed mean method, step deviation method is the third one. So we have a formulas of these three methods and uh, uh, we will do these problems in the next video. Wait for next video. Thank you.